Okay, hello everyone to Java Lessons Episode 1. I am going to teach you how to do game programming in Java from the hello out dot print line hello world to the graphics and 2D game programming. I might go into 3D and networked 2D games, but that just depends. So, I'm just going to make a new class called hello world so I am just gonna mix I'll try to m see how much instant strings I can put into uh, oops uh, I'm just gonna see how met if I can fit instant strings into it as well but delete yes Okay, so I'm going to add a new class called Hello World. Okay, so if you guys are completely new to Java programming, this is how it works. You have your class, which Hello World dot Java, Hello World, Java Lessons, okay. But this won't really work right now because for Java you need to import certain resources for example java.awt.graphics is one of them but if you want to be lazy like me you just do java.awt star that that imports everything in java.awt so I'm just going to do that with java x.swing import java.io think that's what it is and I just make it a regular thing to import all that because when it gets to game programming you need all of those so now you're going to declare the public class so do public class hello world the name of your class file now when you go down here this is how you make an integer you do int and then you do the name of the int which I'm just going to do your mom and there now the now the int is holding null so it's holding nothing if you want to make it hold something after it's declared you do equals like 1200 um so we're not, since we're not doing ints now i'm just going to do the simple hello world so to do that you want to do public static void main string ARGS. So what this is is this is the main thing that holds the J frame. Well, would normally hold the J panel, but you just want to do what's it called? Um, you just want to do this for the simple hello world thing. You can do it for something else, but. I don't really like to do the whole update method for printing it out but that's like more complicated shit this is just the simple hello world so once you get this you want to do system oh my god it's been a while since I've done this dot out dot print line and then whatever you want to print out you just do hello world now since I'm using jcreator I'm just going to do compile project and then down here when it says process completed go back up and do execute project now it says process completed it executed the hello world now you can also add more like system dot out dot print line hello world 2 now you can just compile that again okay compiling it checks if there's anything wrong in the code and then tells you the errors down here and executing it is pretty much building the file and it creates the class files which you use 
So now it says hello world, hello world 2. So now we're going to go into strings. Yeah. Actually, we'll save strings for the next one. I guess I'll just make a new video. Okay. Later, guys. Hope you liked the tutorial. Instant strings is probably going to be out by the time you see this. So, yeah. Later.